WBZ's Dr. Malika Marshall continues to be a trusted source of information throughout this pandemic. She's here now to answer more of your questions. And we want to start with a question from Al, who writes, I'm already fully vaccinated and was thinking about a booster. Should I wait to see if there are any modifications based on Omicron news? Very popular question. Yeah. And my answer would be no. Don't wait. Go out and get your booster now if you're eligible. Because we don't really know how things are going to evolve with the Omicron variant. Only time will tell. There is some optimism that the vaccines and boosters will still provide at least some protection by driving those antibodies well above the threshold needed to ward off the virus. And while Harvard researchers really just announced that they are concerned that monoclonal antibody treatments may not be as effective against this and other variants, right now the Delta variant is still the predominant variant here in the United States. And so you want to protect yourself from it as best you can. So go get your booster. Okay. Diana writes, I'm vaccinated and got the booster. I have tickets to a concert at TD Garden on December 11th, which is coming up. I really want to attend, but I am nervous about it and have considered not going. I think a lot of people are in a similar position with plans that they made and that they've been looking forward to. And it's Andre Bocelli. Oh, oh so right? what she really wants to so see. So I completely oh. understand. Yes. And I'm really glad that you're vaccinated and you're boosted because that really is your best protection right now, but I really think it depends on your underlying health. Are you at high risk for COVID complications? For example, are you elderly? Do you have diabetes? Are you undergoing treatment for cancer? We're also, of course, keeping a close eye on Omicron to see how things evolve over the next few weeks. But if you're otherwise healthy and plan to wear high quality masks, such as an N95, it might be a risk you're willing to take. So if you don't I have... I go, too. <laughs> exactly. Malika will go with I you. I have an N95. <laughs> Katie is asking, if my child is a close contact at school, what exactly does that mean? I received a message from the school nurse, but was given really no direction. Yeah, that's unfortunate, because yeah. I would think that school nurses would be able to tell you what to do. So I would ask the school again, because I received the same notification from my daughter's school. However, all the kids wore masks at school, and fortunately, none of them ended up testing positive. They were all tested, of course, at school, so they could stay in school until they were actually cleared. So I would reach out to that school nurse again for further clarification. Yeah, this is one of those situations where you're happy to have the information, and you just need some reassurance. It's exactly. going to be okay. And told what to do. Right. right. Doctor, thank you. You're welcome. Dr. Malika is here offering her best advice, but as always, consult your personal doctor before you make any decisions about your health. And if you have a question for Dr. Malika, there are three ways to reach her. Email Dr. Malika at CBS.com, on Twitter at Malika Marshall, or Facebook message her, Dr. Malika Marshall. They